Production with Natalia, another amazing episode here today, joining me, special guest all the way in Madrid. Juan, how are you today? Very good, Natalia. Thank you very much for having me uh, at this structure with Natalia. I'm very excited. Uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward for it. Fantastic. I haven't seen many YPY, and that translates into young professionals in yachting since this week. I already had two people on, so I'm really happy to have a third. <laughs> yeah, good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I saw the, the, the others. Uh, it's been, this is a shame because for YPY, we always. Uh, we, we like to bring people together and that's the, that's the, one of the main reasons of the association but uh, due, due to this coronavirus situation we cannot do that anymore so we are having quite a lot of webinars uh, but it's not quite the same but we will we will try to do one um, online event for YBY in Monaco which we are planning uh, aiming for the end of this month but we don't have a date yet uh, and then as soon as we are allowed to, we will have a face-to-face um, -face event for all our members. I think everyone is keen to, to see people. Absolutely, and that is something I did miss, uh, the, uh, the board member scenario where you had your <laughs> weekly chats and uh, yeah. together and then preparing these amazing events for the group. And uh, well done also for being president now. This is very cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's been, uh, it's been a year now and it's... Uh, I like the challenge, I have to say. We have um, the, the team of the YPY is amazing. And uh, yeah, I think we work together very well. And, and, and it's quite easy. They made my life quite easy. Great. And so I thought that you were in Monaco, but in fact, you're in Madrid. So let's talk about because we had the deconfinement in Monaco as of last Monday in France this yep. Monday. So how is it, I mean, I think you're connected with the brokerage world, you being a sales broker, but what's yep. going on? Let's get some juicy info because we're on the other side and we have no idea what's going on on the uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, well, I can tell you, well, I was in Madrid when all this coronavirus started and of course Madrid is having a hard time on the, in, in about with the coronavirus and uh, the borders are closed and not people are not allowed to leave home only for one hour walk from one kilometer since last week. So uh, before we were not allowed to go out at all, only to go shopping. I mean to the grocery and, and the pharmacy. That's it. So I'm uh, I'm hoping to be able to go back to France beginning of June, whenever flights are uh, flying back to Nice again uh, for Madrid. And, and then in terms of the industry, it's been, uh, I think everyone would kind of agree, uh, which is a bit of a slowdown on uh, the clients who were ready to buy for the summer or there were a lot of clients buying with the idea of charging yachts and trying to make a profit because this summer charter will not be the best season uh, all those clients are slowing down and I kind of, okay, let's take it easy. Let's think twice and try to plan, uh, to see what's coming in terms of the uh, economy. And then maybe after the season, they will make the decision. But, um, myself personally, I had a few of those. I thought they are um, slowing down a little bit. But like in any kind of crisis, um, there are also people looking for opportunities. Um, there are a lot of uh, a number of uh, cash buyers looking for very hot deals by yachts for a 50% discount and I think all the brokerage community is looking for those deals which I'm not me they're not that many yet so is this yeah. affecting the way that also uh, the selling and buying process is happening because you can't do viewings you can't you know how do you yeah. what is the way well I mean uh, we are all having a lot of webinars and, and online meetings and we propose like um, yeah uh, visits to clients with a phone or with a camera which it helps but you don't get the feelings i think i think one of the beauty of our industry is each yacht you can have the same model but with different interiors and different interiors give different feelings with the jump on board and that's very personal so you you don't get that feeling the client doesn't get that feeling so i still think people will need to travel although 
uh, yeah, the 3D scans and all that helps. But I think people will still will still need to travel to get those feelings about interior and and, and the homely feeling or, or you know. Yeah, as soon as you step on board, you get that impression. And a photo doesn't speak it as much as actually yeah. there for sure. Yeah, and and, and volumes. I mean, uh, with a camera, uh, you can make a very small room look very big, or you can make a very big room look very small. So you know, it's uh, it's a bit tricky that part. But I think uh, this is also an opportunity for all that technology about three uh, D scans or. or or visits, online visits, to to show us what they can do now. Because I think all the brokerage companies in the next year or so will implement all those technology. Because I think we will also learn from this. We were everyone, all all the yeah, not only brokers, but all the industries are always traveling. And I think maybe we will travel a bit less and and we'll use the the, the online online technology a lot more. That's also I think uh, um, as a result of this coronavirus situation. Yes, you're right there. In virtual reality, you see there's uh, some virtual yacht shows being taken yeah. uh, taken care of. And I wonder what is the future of yacht shows overall and also offices, because what we've learned is in the past two months, uh, we've been able to work from home and it's quite productive, maybe even more so because you don't have distractions and you, you know how to plan your day accordingly. Yeah. Sometimes you work even more from home. I mean, it's been five years I've been yeah. working from home and I, yeah. I, I seem to be like a robot mainly, but um, I think for other people, it's been an eye opener and maybe this yeah. is a future. I think, uh, um, I think I have a, because in my previous company at Peter in Studios Marketing, uh, we were uh, in the office a lot of time and here in Super Yacht Monaco, we, everyone is flexible to do whatever they, they want to do. So it's, it's interesting. What for me was a learning process because I was I was used to be in the office all the time, which I like, because in the office you share with the person you have sat next to you. Uh, when you have a question or you have a uh, a thing, and they, you share information a bit faster. That, as Super Yacht Monaco, that actually worked very well. We have a WhatsApp group which is going on 24/7, and everyone shares things in or information or, or issues people have or we have this, how would you approach this thing? And everyone's very active, like being in the office, but working from home. And I do believe I do work more from home because you're always kind of working. You have your laptop, is always on the table, it's always switched on. And then you go to lunch and then go back to the to, to the laptop, keep working, then, you know? And then you are, uh, I don't know, do the gathering, you think about something, oh, actually, and then you go to do it, you know? I think. It, to me, it actually works working from home, and I think a lot of uh, companies will, will learn a lot about working from home and will be more flexible as well. Fantastic. Yes, and I think we've learned a lot, and uh, the future is different for sure. Yeah. But even if we are out and about and meeting clients, we now have to wear masks, and that feels a little impersonal. I, uh, I find it quite frightening to not be able to gauge on someone's smile or you know how their expression is it's very monotonous i hope yeah. that they'll come up with some weird mask that you can see the actual face you know while the yeah. sheets <laughs> yeah it's quite crazy i think it's going to be if the monaco yacht show happens it's going to be very interesting because a lot of companies are going to go for branded branded masks or something like that yes and i remember well it's, it's, it's a lot of different colors. Each company has a color, and I believe there will be a lot of, uh, of face masks with different colors and branding, and people are giving away masks. There's going to be a different Monaco Yacht Show if that happens, and the same with the Cannes Yacht Show, that's for sure. So we, we still need to learn a new, a new way of working, yeah. We cross our fingers that the Yacht Show does take place. Yeah. Uh, it would be nice to see people from the industry back again, and uh, that's the only yeah. opportunity that remains this year, right? Uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. I think everyone needs that, yeah. yeah. Good. And in terms of um, the future of yachting, I mean, we kind of touched on that, but do you think that uh, there's a need to rejig the way things are being done, the structure of yachting, the industry itself, you know, how you have brokers specifically in one sector, I mean, does that, is that going to be rejigged a bit? I, I think it, 
it would need to be a more flexible way of working because I can see big companies with huge offices in many, many different locations. And I think that's, I mean, that will change because at the end of the day, we the brokers, we need to go to see as many boats as possible and meet as many clients as possible. But the actual office, we don't need it that much. It is important to be in the office and, and to speak with people and see what's going on. But uh, I think also in terms of yacht shows, I think they are way too expensive for the shipyards and the company to showcase many boats. I think that, yeah, I think the, the future of, of the yacht show should be something like the ECPY events that, uh, that, that happens in Nice or something more relaxed like the super yacht the thing in, in Barcelona and in, in Fort Lauderdale. Because it, it should be easy, it should be help. It should not be a problem for the industry, it should be something to help. And I think all that will change in the next, I would say, five years. The industry will have a lot, uh, uh, um, will be more flexible in the way of working in terms of yacht shows uh, and office wise. It's, uh, yeah, I tend to believe that because, yeah, as I say, we need to visit boats and clients most of the time, but we don't need that physical office to do that. And how about finding clients? Because a lot of the time it was about being in the right place at the right time, being introduced and having coffees and attending events and whatnot. Is this now the era of social media, stalking, Facebook, Instagram accounts? Like, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. For me, I'm not a very social media guy, and I'm learning to use Instagram. And actually, if someone uh, follows me, <laughs> I don't know who is actually following me because I don't know how to see that. But uh, I've been posting the last two weeks uh, some pictures and uh, some things. And I, did, I think I did my first story uh, uh, in Instagram like two weeks ago. And it's, it's, we need to learn. I think I actually got inquiries to do that. And I was surprised because I never used that as a way of working. But I think we need, all need to learn that because social events will be, at least this year, will be restricted. So that's something, a tool that we would not have. So yeah, definitely we need to think about different ways of meeting new clients. Amazing. And a lot of them, they put themselves as private. So there has to be another way or community creation to keep these people interested and they can access and you can talk to them without them being harassed in that sense, I guess. Yeah, that's a problem. We, we, are, we are a lot of brokers looking for people. So, <laughs> you, if, so if, Client can be approached by many people at the same time if they think they're too available. So I think it's, it's going to be challenging as well. I think we, we have a lot to learn about that in the next couple of years, that's for sure. And something I really liked in your biography at the end, you, you mentioned about, you know, you are the future generation to, to make the changes, uh, something along those lines. And I really like that, especially that you're, well, you're president of the YPY Monaco, you're an entrepreneurial spirit, you've got that attitude, you've jumped from one to another, but in a positive growing yourself and, you know, fine tuning who you are and, and becoming the, the the person you are, the broker that you are today. So what kind of advice would you give those who are interested in becoming a broker or in your position? Well, I think the most important thing is be patient because it takes time. I met, uh, since I became the president of YPY, I have uh, different people approaching me about advice for their own career. And I always tell them the, the same. Be patient. Don't try to get from A to Z too fast, because how I saw my when when I was when I started in the super yacht industry, thanks to Peter Vincent, I had nothing to offer. The, in my view, the only thing I had to offer was my reputation. And when you start, that's the only thing, because I have no knowledge when I started. I have some knowledge, mm -hmm. but for the young people who start, they don't have knowledge. They need to learn from the best people possible and you need to be, um, I mean, hey, people need to trust you. So if you keep your reputation and you are patient on your career, you will get there. But it takes time. It will not happen in, in, in two years, maybe happen in 10 years, in 15 years, 
be patient and do things right because we there are people in the industry that come through here goes there and then disappear because of the reputation so to me the reputation is very important it's, it's also one of the only things we have to offer to clients is good reputation and to make sure that we will look after their interests and we are not just here to take their commission that's true very well said because like you mentioned there's a lot of brokers out there so how do you differentiate yourself well it's you as a person and the relationship that you offer and build together so yeah well said that's a good good point yeah. to take away it, it, it happens to me in the past that the uh, different broker for different company asked me for advice on a deal and i said well you, you know I'm, I'm i'm your competitor i said yeah yeah but i trust you so he he asked me, he put me all all the all his deal together, I mean explained me his deal. And I said, Well, I would have brought maybe to here. And I don't know if he did or not, but that was something that surprised me. And I said, Well, maybe I'm doing something correct. That's the that. biggest testament. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's yeah. great. And also having that uh, opportunity to communicate in a nice open environment once we're back with the whole event side of the YPY and, and being able to connect and discuss without being judged or thinking this yeah, is exactly. yeah. not the big thing. Someone will judge you always. That that's we are, we are we are people that you cannot stop that. But and, and I mean your reputation will be for yourself. That that's the only thing you have. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Juan. This has been really insightful. I've really enjoyed this and I hope our audience has too. I'll let you go because I'm sure you have a couple of calls and some, some social media planning to go for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to post something today. That, that, that's one of my goals today. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone wants to connect with you, what's the best way? Well, you can find me always on, uh, well, now in Instagram, <laughs> uh, on uh, Superyacht. Uh, Monaco uh, website. My email is juan at superjazzmonaco.com or my WhatsApp or my phone. I'm always available and um, or through YPY also info at ypymonaco.com. But I think yeah, Superjazz Monaco should be the, the fastest. Super. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoy your day and that we see you soon in the sunny south of France. <laughs> yeah, looking forward for that. Thank you, Natalia. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks everyone Thank you. for watching. This was another episode with Lakshu and Natalia. More episodes coming soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for all your support. Bye.